Hi, I'm Jim Pierce with Baton Investing. Every day, people like you come to us when they just realize their current investment approach isn't working. We give them an easy-to-use system that has beaten the S&P 500 index by over 300% since 2003, takes just 30 seconds a month to use, and most importantly, will help you achieve your financial dreams. Today is March 4th, 2015, and I want to talk to you about a stock that I believe is undersold and will deliver a better than expected earnings report next week. Uh, they report on uh, March 10th. That company is THL Credit, uh, which is the credit affiliate of private equity firm uh, Thomas H. Lee Partners, which invests in privately held emerging growth companies. Quite frankly, this stock has performed very poorly over the past 12 months, declining almost 20% in value while the rest of the market has been doing quite well. However, at this point, our analysis suggests that the stock has become oversold, and here's why. Uh, TCRD earns a near-perfect score according to our investment strategy based on the fast grower methodology of Marty Zweig, a Wall Street legend and author of the best-selling book, Winning on Wall Street. Now, Zweig evaluated these fast-growing companies with a number of ratios designed to determine whether or not a company could continue the rate at which it's growing its revenue. So right now, THL Credit, the symbol's TCRD, uh, this, this uh, afternoon closed at $12.14. And by the way, currently paying a yield of 11.6%. I'll talk about that more in a minute because I'm not so sure it's going to stay that high. But we still think the stock has become oversold. So three of the key ratios that Zweig uses, the first one is the price to earnings to growth rate, where he compares a company's P.E. ratio over the past three years with the rate of growth in its earnings. Now, in the case of TCRD, its current P.E. ratio is 9.6%, while its earnings growth rate is 23.6%. So if you divide the P.E. ratio into the growth rate, you come up with a PEG ratio of 0.41, which is well under 1.0, which is the benchmark for what's considered a desirable ratio. So it's, it's well under that number. The second ratio is the earnings per share growth rate itself, which in this case, again, is 23.6%. So I believe there's a sweet spot for fast-growing companies. They should be growing earnings greater than 20%, but less than 50%, because he felt anything over 50% was, was not sustainable. Anything under 20% wasn't really that great. So uh, TCRD is on the low end of that range, but nevertheless, it's within that range that, that Zweig uh, was looking for. And finally, for what he called financial intermediaries, which is what TCRD is. In other words, it, it invests in privately held companies, charges, a, you know, if it's a loan, obviously they charge interest. Usually it will be convertible or they also get equity. And then they pass on a share of that to its investors. So it's what's called a financial intermediary. And uh, Zweig wanted to see an equity to assets ratio of greater than 5% for those type of companies. In this case, it's way above that, actually 61%. So in his three key metrics, it passes with flying colors. For that reason, we recommend TCRD up to $14 a share because we believe that next week when they report earnings, they won't be as bad as the market's uh, anticipating. There may be a cut in the distribution. Most companies in this business are yielding somewhere around 8%. So they could cut the distribution by a third and still be right in line with the overall market. So it is a bit of a speculative play. This isn't for widows and orphans, so to speak. 